guys welcome back to my channel it is Nico's baby today I'm going to be doing this look um this is poison ivy um yeah I just really have always been obsessed with poison ivy and I'm just so happy I got the chance to do it um yeah my hair I love 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 this wig from my hairstylist Bassy B, follow her on Instagram. She makes the best wigs ever and sells the best hair. I swear she does. And um, what else? I made this top on my own. I got this top a while back. I don't know. It was a gift from my cousin Shirley. Shout out to her. And it was white. And I was just thinking like, oh my god, no, I'm just gonna spray paint it. This looks so dope. Like went to Walmart, bought some spray paint, shh, shh, did that real quick, and got it together. And I also made this crown. I just like put glue on these little lead things and put some glitter on it and what else I guess you'll see the rest throughout the tutorial but yeah stay tuned okay guys so first I'm going to be starting with my eyebrows and I'm just gonna take my brush and brush my eyebrows up and I'm going for a really dramatic eyebrow look today so I'm gonna try and match it with my hair color and I'm gonna be starting with my NYX eyeshadow base and I'm going to be using it as a base for my eyebrows so the color can pop and it's in white pearl and I'm just going to be applying that then I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm so obsessed with this palette. And I'm going to be using the color Slow Burn. And it is just beautiful. And I'm going to be using it as a base also just to cover up my dark hairs. And you see how that NYX eyeshadow base just made the color pop a little more. I really 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 love this palette so yeah I'm just gonna be putting a little more arch than usual to make it more dramatic then I'm gonna be taking my flat finish pigment gloss by LA girl and I am going to be just filling up all the hairs And oh yeah, this is in the color Frisky. And it is definitely Frisky. Then I just took my Pomade Dip Brow by Anastasia, Bev Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And I'm just going to be going over the colors that I already put on there. And this is going to give it more of a burgundy look like my hair. And again, like I said, I'm making these eyebrows really dramatic. Love it. So I'm just going to finish that up on both sides. And then to clean up my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my concealer from MAC in NC45. And I'm just going to be cleaning it up underneath a little bit more and taking it upwards to make to define the shape of the eyebrows and make it a little more sharper and I want to keep the tips pointed as you can see and I'm just gonna drag it down because you could use the, your concealer as an highlighter also then I'm going to start with my eyeshadow and I'm going to be using my NYX eyeshadow base in white pearl again. And I really love this eyeshadow base because it makes your colors pop so much. I'm just going to be doing it on both sides, getting it on generously. And I want this eye look to be very dramatic. 
Then I'm just going to be taking some tape and lining the sides of my eyes to make my eyeshadow come out more dramatic and sharper. <laughs> oh yeah. What are you doing, Nico? That's too long. I had to cut it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to take it from the ends of my eyes and connect it to the bottom of my eyebrow. And this is also going to help me with my wing later. Get it together, Nikos. What are you doing? <laughs> I could not get this tape together. <laughs> I was really just trying to make both sides perfect. So yeah, then I'm going to be taking my eyeshadow brush. And obviously looking for what eyeshadow color I want to use. <laughs> then I'm going to be using my Milani eyeshadow in the color Bella Black. And this is a really popping black. And I'm just going to use it to smoke out my eyes. And I'm going to start by just dabbing it on my eyelids. And guys, it's okay if you're doing it messy. That's why we have the tape there to just make it a little neater and easier for you. I really love this trick. So yeah, I'm just going to be putting it on my lids on both eyes and dabbing it on. And you see how nice and pigmented that looks? That's because of that eyeshadow base. I'm just going to be making sure I get on a great amount. And as you can see, I'm dragging it out nearby my nose because I'm going to later use that to help me out with contouring my nose. So, my next color I'm going to use for my transition color is going to be a dark army green color, like a forest green. And I'm just going to be blending it out so it won't be too, too harsh. And I'm just going to do the same on both sides. I really love this color. It just has to be one of my favorite colors. Yes. This is just going to make it look so dramatic. And then I'm going to be taking another eyeshadow brush and using one of my lighter eyeshadow colors um, that's close to my skin color and I'm just going to be using it to highlight under my brows and also blend it out, blend out my eyeshadow more. Mm. <laughs> then I'm just going to be taking the tape off and you see how sharp that makes it. Oh I love it. I love this technique. So next I'm going to be starting with my foundation and I'm just going to put it on regularly. My camera died while I was putting on the foundation so I had to charge and start back so yeah. Put it on the foundation. <laughs> and then I'm going to be taking my beauty blender and just blending it all together. Blend, 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 blend. I'm obsessed with beauty blenders. They are life. I don't know what I would do without them. <laughs> you can get a beauty blender from Sephora, MAC. They're really awesome. And then to highlight, I'm going to be using my favorite highlighter, the LA Girl Pro Concealer HD in the color. What color did I use? Hmm. Creamy beige. <laughs> and I'm just going to be highlighting under my eyes. My chin, my nose, the top of my lip. 
and my forehead. Then I'm going to be taking my beauty blender again and just blending it all in. Blend, 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 blend. It's very important you make sure your makeup is blended so you can get a nice finish. Then to contour, I'm going to be using <laughs> this. Actually, it's um, costume paint that you're supposed to use for the Hulk. But I was like, ah, that's the green I'm looking for. I think I'm going to use it to contour my face. <laughs> so I'm going instead of my regular brown contour, I'm going to be using green. And this is going to be making the look more dramatic how I want it. So yeah, I'm going to be contouring my cheeks, my nose, and my forehead with the green. And I got this from Walmart in the costume section and it was literally like $1.99 and they have it in any, co any color. Well, all colors. And I'm just going to be blending that in. Just like how you would regularly contour, but you're just using green foundation. <laughs> I'm going to get it around my head. on my nose and it's still going to make your cheeks sink in and make your nose appear smaller just using a green color contour on fleek I told myself I was going to stop saying fleek so mm -hmm. then I'm going to be setting my highlight with my Ben I banana powder everyone knows I'm obsessed with this Ben I banana powder I need to order some more because I'm kind of running out just reminded me let me write that down <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna also put it under my cheeks where I contour to make that contour really sharp and to define it and on my nose and my forehead then while that is baking I'm going to take my green eyeshadow again and just use it to contour my nose again. And my cheeks and around my forehead. This is going to make it pop and more dramatic. I know I've been using that word a lot, but I want this look to be dramatic and popping. So, yeah, it's going to make it pop and more dramatic. Blending it in. Then I'm going to be starting with my eyeliner. Oh, forgot to wipe my banana powder off. So yeah, I just took a brush and wiped it off real quick. Then back to the eyes. Yeah, so I'm going to be just using a regular liquid eyeliner. Anything could work, really. I think I got this from the beauty supply for like a dollar. So yeah, I'm just going to be following the line that I made with the tape. And I'm going to be going in on my inner crease. And I'm just going to try to make a little mystical design. <laughs> and twirl it and then put like three dots around it. And that little simple design just makes it so cute. Then I'm going to head over to the wing. And basically what I want to do is start off my wings and make it look like a vine. Like the poison ivy vines. And I'm just going to be taking it up around my eyebrow. I had a mask, but I was like, uh, let me be a little more creative. Let me not be lazy. So yeah, I'm just going to basically draw a vine starting from the wing all the way up to my eyebrow. So basically you could call it a long vine wing. <laughs> and then I'm just going to be doing the same thing on the other side.
Then I'm just going to take the eyeliner and touch it up a little bit and go over the vines that I've already drawn on my face. Is it veins or vines? I don't know. Vines. <laughs> yeah. So just go over it and I think I'm going to drag it out a little bit. Make it longer. Then I'm just going to be taking my NYX finishing spray and spraying it all over my face. So I can have a good finish. And then for my eyelashes, I am going to be using the number 217 from the beauty supply store. And I'm just going to be taking my tweezers, putting on my glue. And okay, yeah, before I apply my eyelashes, let me get on some mascara. And it just helps my eyelashes come on way easier. On mascara. Hurry up, Nikos. Why you take so long? Yeah. So. <laughs> I had to give myself a little mo. I thought that was cute. <laughs> yeah. So after I'm done with the mascara, I'm going to go right back to the eyelashes and just take my tweezers, like I said, and my glue. And when you want to make sure when you put the glue on, you let it dry a tad bit. And take your tweezers and just lay it right on top of your real ashes. And the mascara just helps it stick a little better. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to be taking my dark pencil eyeliner and just putting some eyeliner on, really dark. Then moving on to the lips, I am going to be using my LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss, the same gloss I use on my eyebrows. And I'm just going to be putting it on and I'm also going to be using this to line my lips. And I want my lips to look a little more plump so I'm going to be adding them on a little more at the top because my bottom lip is way bigger than my top lip thank you god for blessing me <laughs> so yeah i love this love 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 this gloss this is my favorite red right now because it dries matte and it really looks awesome on so yeah just gonna be making sure that gets on right Yes. <laughs> then I'm just going to be roughing up my hair a little bit. Like, looking like I just came out from the forest. <laughs> <laughs> then I want my lips to be a little more ombre. So I am going to be taking my pencil my lip pencil by MAC in the color chestnut and putting it, it on the sides and kind of outlining my lips with it again and it's going to give me that ombre look and it's going to match perfectly with my eyebrows okay guys so that is it for my poison ivy halloween look i had so much fun doing this um Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, 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 and like, like, like. And also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. And also feel free to comment and tell me what you think. And also what you would like to see. Interact. I want to talk to you guys. I want to love you guys. <laughs> so yeah. KWN. <laughs>